they what so the fuck is she firing out of her gun that's I blowing know, shit up right? like that? <laughs> Do you not know that Hong Kong guns just generally just, blow people up and blow I, I up? didn't know that. There we go. I'm so glad that this is a one Northern thing. Ireland ever got those no, in the 80s. Should, should <laughs> I know. Oh. Don't forget, folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video, and all that jibber jabber. And thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Oh, it's in Cantonese. It is. Why. It's in Cantonese. Sweet. Hello, and People welcome back to another Siri. visual audio commentary here on Invincible Asia. <laughs> and Mark, welcome back to hey, you too. Thanks. Today we are checking out the awesome <coughs> Angel Terminators 2, and we are going with Spectrum Films uh, Blu-ray release, which doesn't have any English subs. It does come in this Cantonese language. Unfortunately, um... No subtitles though. That's not their fault. Mm. We're not French. But also, we we did check out Angel Terminators Parlez 1, Parlez du Français, on this really dodgy fan-made DVD, Yo. which also comes with Angel Terminators 2, but it's a really shit quality. And it mm. does have English subs, but I figured everyone's going to have a better chance of grabbing this than they are the fan-made DVD. So, Is that like out of print? Like, if people are watching this with us, they're going to have this quicker than they're uh, going to have... Yeah. They're going to have that DVD. True story. True story. So here it is. Angel Terminators 2 starring the amazing Moon Lee and Yukari Oshima, which I fucking can't wait for. Love. Uh, not connected to Angel Terminators 1 in any way, but nope. we're going to get into that. <laughs> so good. let's start playing Nice. <laughs> Whoa, that was a quick one. <laughs> Jesus, that started very fast. Fucking hell, man. Da, 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 da. So, yes, uh, we did watch this once before, you don't remember, but I think once you start seeing it, I you'll have <laughs> recollection of it whatsoever. You will, you will. Um, when you watch so much, it's very, very, very hard to re to remember everything yeah. that's going on, or every film that you've ever watched. Well, it's very true, very, very true. But I think once you start to see particular scenes, it will sort of uh, set the tone for you. So Jason Pai Pao in the front here, yes. uh, Kung Fu star in his own right, and Sybil Hu, who yes, looks lovely. as butch as she possibly can in this film, which I think is hilarious. I love that they tried to butch her up. Well, they butch her up so they can double her. Well, yes, but it's like, you know, <laughs> why is she, is she not? She's not a martial artist? Really a trained fighter at all. No, oh, she does shame. very, very well. I mean, and you put her in a movie with Minley and you carry off right? Exactly. She, and it's not you kind the of only you, one. you maybe want to well, have someone that's pretty well trained. Exactly. Against those two women you in know, particular. They should have put like Sharon Young Pan Pan in here, who stars with Moon Lee in other movies. And but Sybil and Moon and you carry have shared the screen numerously. Um Dreaming the Reality, I've gotta show you because I showed you the trailer for that once and you shit your pants. You thought we that looked amazing. Okay. The best of Lady, Lady Kickboxers. Kickboxers. That is what it's also known as. It's alternative title. Well, a very again, common thing for Hong Kong films to come out under multiple titles, <laughs> and multiple. then you haven't a fucking clue what <laughs> film you've seen. It's very very true, but also how unusual for this to be in French or French subtitles, but have English titles, English text. <laughs> so like, I, I guess so it's. it's Depends on the print that they've taken to restore, mm -hmm. really. Uh, it didn't come up titled as Angel Terminator 2, nope. although they've sold it as Angel Terminator 2, which is... Because that's what it is. It's most widely known for that. Yeah. And it's from the same director. That, that's probably its only real connection. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Liu, who is an amazing director, also did Killer Angels and Moon Lee. Um, oh gosh, what was that? Hilarious. He does a hilarious comedy with Moon Lee and Yukari Oshim. It will come back to me. Um, right. But he's worked with them a num number of times. And he's a brilliant action director and director. It's They're, they're just film. not, like, they're not amazing movies. Mm -hmm. But they're just... Entertaining. Entertaining popcorn action flicks. That's what we love. Exactly. And we haven't seen a movie like this in some time. No, we have not. <laughs> we have absolutely not seen a film like this in quite... Quite but it's straight while. into the action. Great like, opening sequence. There's no holding back. It's one thing I love about Hong Kong action cinema is that they open with like the biggest action sequence. I mean, oh. who can? I mean, uh, probably the greatest one of all time. And this is just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Is Play Story. Oh, down my the hill. God, yes. It's one of my favorite 
favorite. It's not the opening, the ending, actually. Uh, no, it's so, pretty much the opening yes, is, is scoped yeah. into that. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. love it. It is incredible. Superb. Still to this day, you know. Yeah. And, and that's what makes amazing. these films so great. Yeah. Absolutely. And this, I, this, people keep saying to me, why do you like these movies? Why mm -hmm. do you have so many? They ask you that question? They ask me and I can't answer What an unusual it. Well, you should be able to answer it, but it's an unusual question. I mean, why does anybody like anything? Well, that's true. But there's there's a particular... I, I, it's not that I can't answer it. I want to give them the right answer. But it, as the, not but there so is much no as right just, or wrong. I enjoy it. There's something Can't else. Be enough. There's a uh, well, you that know, they like to. gorgeous shot. It's it very, actually, very beautifully restored. It is gorgeously restored. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But I, I feel I just want to let them know what Hong Kong action cinema is all about, and then Hong Kong cinema on top of that, because it started with Jackie mm. Chan. Yeah. For me, and then went into a whole rake of fucking subgenres and everything else. You know, like it. It suddenly went into horror with Mr. Vampire. It went yeah. to heroic bloodshed with Chai and Fat movies. And Super. so on and so on. We still haven't covered a Wu film. Oh, we Chai will. We film. got to, though. We have to. Absolutely. This is gorgeous, actually. It's this is really stunning. Beautiful. Well done, Spectrum my, Films. Oh, here we go. Is. Here's my girl. Oh, there's just... Oh, I love her. I, I love her. She is amazing, isn't she? She's just such a balladic fighter. Yeah. Like... But well, she oh, was, she but was yes. a dancer. So yes, yes, I do remember having this conversation with you yes. about me being a dancer. Mm. Funny, I'm actually I didn't know what film I was actually coming to watch tonight. I wasn't sure whether we would watch this or whether we would watch something, you know, of Cat Three. More serious. But yeah. I was watching um one of the G Idol um girls, Sujin has for K pop star, yeah. has released like a new song, um, kind of going off the band, you know the way they do that in K pop, mm. they kind of like stream off it. Yeah. And watching a K pop dancer dance is like watching a martial arts film. Oh you reckon? It is so superbly choreographed mm. and precise that it's, and precise yeah. and so beautiful. I mean, it reminds me of like Wuxia films, but also these like Min Lee dan like dancing, oh, yeah, Min Lee yeah, yeah, fighting. Yeah. But she is. I She's mean, phenomenal. I love her. I I love Michelle Yu. Love Michelle. Without a, a yes. second thought. Yeah. But there's something really fucking gritty and tough about Moon Lee and yeah. Yukari Oshima. I, I kind of had I, them There was probably a, a sense of M Michelle Yeoh just had a more international appeal yes. than the likes yeah. of Moon Lee would have. Higher, and <laughs> I, just... I mean that... I, I A part of me does mean that in a... Mm, how do I word it without sounding? Moon Lee is very Asian. Very Hong Kong. Very Hong Kong. Based... And Michelle Yeoh, I think, has that more international oh, look because she's yeah, yeah, yeah. Taiwanese. She's not, not Malaysian. 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 So yeah. I think in that respect, she kind of has a more international look to her, whereas Min Lee looks yes. very like a Hong Kong cinema star. That should never have stopped her from progressing into oh. Western cinema or becoming a bigger star. But I do reckon that I don't racist think Holly Hollywood... Hollywood wouldn't have known mm, what to do with her. No. Absolutely. They'd have been like, what do we do with this woman? Yeah. Oh, we'll put her beside Bruce Willis or Sylvester Stallone but or they, something. They didn't, and, you know, even, they didn't know what to do with Cynthia Rothrock. I, I, yeah, she's American. Yeah. Yeah. But because she could fight like this, mm -hmm. they couldn't... They, but they And then, when, of course, when Cindy went to to do American movies, yeah. they were still fun to a degree, mm -hmm. but they never give us the same style of action that nope. she was doing here in Hong Kong, you know? Her English language films were never as good. No. Never as good. Entertaining. Some, entertaining, some but not entertaining, as... Entertaining, but yeah. not like the same, this woman's amazing, mm -hmm. you know, feel. Yeah. Like Blonde Fury or Magic yeah. Crystal or yes. something like that. Yeah, so, yeah. But that's what I feel with, with Moon Lee and Yukari Oshima. They had so many pairings together. Yes. It was hard to really it's pull... It's like an iconic duo. Oh, really, yeah, isn't it? absolutely. But it was hard to pull them apart and say, who's the best? I feel I feel they mm. were always on the level yeah. together, you know? And I think, with this one especially, I feel that there's something fun because Moon Lee is always the kind of the sweet cutie one, you know? Yes. For the most part. There's some movies where she plays a real badass. Mm -hmm. um, but she's always a badass, even when she's sweet and cute. Oh, I mean, in the villainous sense. Oh, okay. Yes. We'll have to get that out for you. Yes, absolutely. But this one here, you carry 
gets to play a bit more of a brutal like Iron Angels you saw yes love the Iron Angels she movies she was amazing phenomenal as, as, a, as the villainess mm -hmm. in that and even though they the three of them and with the lane Laurie didn't get to show down until the final yes it was just fucking breathtaking yeah. you know again that's a film that needs restored the whole trilogy all of these ones do because you know I feel like as I've said multiple times in other I think audio commentaries maybe not the ABC mm. ones but audio commentaries is that women like this don't get the opportunity or get the same I mean, look how look. cool as fuck oh, she is oh my god I love her so much she these really women <laughs> are literally my idols they are um, <laughs> love her <laughs> straight up <laughs> she is cool as fuck she really is cool like I she's just look at that swag yeah and all Oh, she is. It's amazing. been tremendously restored. Good it job, Spectrum. Beautiful. Because you've yeah. done an amazing job. Absolutely. I wonder if they, do you know, I wonder if it was like a tactical move to like put, because Sybil would obviously be more of an actor than a she, martial yeah, artist. Yeah, she would be more known for her yes. performance yes. pieces. Is that like, why probably they've I would say matched it's, the three of them together? Because yeah, they all look fantastic. They but, all work well together. Yeah. That's the thing. And she does bring star power. That's, she, she did have a following. Mm -hmm. as this Hong Kong starlet yeah. whether it was action or not mm -hmm. if it was drama she did the same yeah. um, you know Idiot Films are releasing uh, Inspector Wurskirts Top Squad soon which I love and that was my sorry three? no huh? what did I say there? Inspector Wurskirts Top also Squad also known as Top Squad oh I thought you meant they were bringing like three films no, out they're, together. They're bringing, oh. So they're releasing part one and part two next year in February. Okay. Which separately. is wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Separately, unfortunately. But I'm really hoping they continue with three and four. Three is questionable because oh, it's not gosh, really an official shit, sequel, but it's still there. Anyway. But it, it's all part of like the franchise. Of course. You know. But that would be one of the this first movies This is frustrating I knew for people from. like us. Oh, it's very frustrating. Whenever you don't release complete movies like Absolutely. police story like inspector wear skirts like long arm of the long law. arm of the law <laughs> in the line of duty yes get us the rest <laughs> everything bloody please. hell You'll how get... many times do we need to ask for i them? know that's the thing you're going to get the money regardless yeah. it's not like we uh want it for free <laughs> no it's very it's just very frustrating that every time someone releases a new like Angel Terminator, mm. Spectrum have done a fantastic job at, yes. at um, but there's the other upgrading thing. this, but it's the first one? The first one. Or it's no, the no, second I, one. I, this is the second one. I do, do have, have their first one. Yeah, oh, they yeah, did yeah. release the yes. first one as well. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. I was going it's to just say Spectrum. Be, when I didn't, uh, when we first did the co audio commentary for audio, uh, Angel Terminators 1, mm -hmm. I didn't have the Blu-ray. Ah, okay. That's why we watched it on the shitty DVD. That's fine. But we will go back to it and enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the Here's the thing though. Both of these our earlier Spectrum films Blu-ray releases. Mm -hmm. They still look amazing, as we've said numerously. These are earlier Spectrum releases? Well, wow. yeah, they've they've grew quite significantly and obviously I did the God of Gambler set yeah, yeah. quite recently, mm -hmm. which was amazing from them. But usually you kind of find that when one label in one country has released a title, yes. a UK company will pick it up. Yeah, There's two years maybe have passed and we still haven't seen Angel Terminators 1 or 2 get a release here in the UK which is it's a real quite unfortunate actually we haven't seen many if any Moon Lee movies uh, none no <laughs> because no. if we did I'd be on it you know you know I'd absolutely. be on it I'd be buying that absolutely. shit absolutely and it's like you know Ooh, Eva, oh Jesus oh my god just has head blown off I mean, that god, the, that when I went like, a bit overboard with the makeup on his face there wasn't there, an easy death, it doesn't look good either. no um and we know the Criterion are releasing Executioners and Hero Trio. Oh yes, cannot wait for Michelle. that. Um, but again, very art house, more more so art well, house. Well, that is movies. Criterion's kind yes, of that's style. Yes, that's their yeah. thing. I can't but, see um, them going down. It was unusual down. that they chose like action art house than mm. like I could imagine them doing like Wuxia films because they Wuxia. did. Wu Wu Shao. Wu Shao. Wu Shao. Not Wuxia. No. Am I gonna look like Wu a Shao, but maybe. <laughs> Wu Sha movies. Okay. Wuxia Pan. So I can see them doing those. Yes. Uh more because they are more artistic. Yes, absolutely. Whereas for Oak Trio to me is it art house and maybe in terms of its lighting and stuff. It's but... all, they're superhero movies, basically. Mm. You know? Yeah. Which but... is it is a very odd choice for Criterion to go Yes, down. very strange when they announced. But I it. couldn't see Criterion 
doing a box set of Moon Lee movies because it would be... Why not? Do you know what I really feel like setting up my own like distribution company well, if I had the money, which you know, I don't, that's, and restore. <laughs> that's how Invincible Asia started. As I, a distributor? I set up Invincible Asia to be a distribution label like Idiot Films, like... Uh, Why are you sitting that? on this? Well, because I spoke with uh, Big McClure. <laughs> and he, and basically I was told the rights for these particular movies that I was going to start with. My first expensive. five titles were... It was very hard, yeah, to work that. Now, bigger. thankfully, one of those, Burning Paradise, has been released. Ooh, yeah. By Spectrum Films, by Eureka Fil uh, Video, by Vinegar Syndrome. So yeah. they the, the first five that I wanted to release as an introductory sort of set it's so frustrating. are coming so, yeah. you know but still regardless you know that I think you my just buy idea all of to do the Minley Yukari Hashima <laughs> Sibyl Who um, all of those films and just do them just do them I mean they will they, they'll sell yeah that's the thing you know uh, they really would but you know when who knows who knows Some somewhere down the line it would be nice to probably uh, set out on that journey again and, mm -hmm. and do that. It would be fantastic you know? if you were able to do that. Yeah. And really... Certainly by promoting the channel and having more serious discussions about film and about mm. Hong Kong cinema could be the way the way forward. I mean... Absolutely. The, the, for my had left the first time. Well, not left, but stepped away, you know, and just from Lord personal Misfits. issues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to now, the, the, the follows and the likes have gone way up. Mm, you it's know? been great. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Um, it's exciting to get back into serious discussion because for me that's more, you know, it's fun watching us yeah, yeah, like yeah. freaking out of the film. Yes, I know, but still. Um, well, it's, it's, nice it's to fun for us to, to, to react to it. I don't know if it's fun for you guys to watch it, but it's certainly fun for us. But I do love to still have conversation, you know, serious mm. conversation about films. Oh, absolutely. And, there and is, this is a great news There's story, so many to get into and mm -hmm. to get through, you know. Yeah. But I to, like for this one, for example, I wanted to get back to this to to tie up the Angel Terminators films there because we had covered part one yeah. and I felt it was just right to go back here to part two before we go into the new year. Okay. And then come this out. This is our last film. You know, create, we create, are moving. It's this, yeah, then <laughs> this whole place is coming down. But yeah, yeah. it we'll, 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 we'll definitely make a few changes for 2024 yeah. in terms of what we're putting out there and how many commentaries we can put out there. Mm -hmm. Which would be cool. And folks, please, honestly, if you would like to see us cover something for one of the labels, let them know. We're here. We are We're here. queer. Get We're... <laughs> queer men always do the best. They things. sure. Well, there's no holes barred with us. No holes barred. I always try and keep it when it comes to like civilized well, conversation yeah. and serious. I always try and keep it down a level. We'll try. We'll I try. mean, if you want us to do something for like Doctor Lamb, well, or yeah, or something really fucked something up, messed up. I'll, yeah. I'll do it. No problem. But there's plenty of that going on. But here you on may the have channel. to Nancy Seventeen <laughs> rating on that shit. <laughs> Oh, no. But yes, back to this. It's back looking to Angel fantastic. Terminator 2. It this was uh, this is the first fight scene yeah. featuring the both leading ladies here, mm -hmm. and I just together. love when they kick ass together. Mm -hmm. It's fucking amazing. And she looks amazing. She looks fantastic, doesn't she? Yeah. But uh, Tony Lloyd, he like. You can really okay, so you can really see that theatrical makeup was a thing. Yes. Because the, the, the high definition. Oh my goodness, it it's really pulling uh -huh. the theatricality of the makeup out. Not 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 negatively. Mm. To the point. <laughs> to a point, but it's certainly like goodness, I oh, wouldn't have thought that so much so. Would you theatrical makeup would need to go into, especially meals? Um, well, that's on, true, on actually. Films, yeah, because yeah. there's a couple there that I've noticed that it's really pulled out the makeup effects. Um, yeah, but so. then again, look at her, oh, absolutely. This is neat. We're not even watching this on a 4K television, no. so imagine the difference we yeah. could see. Look at that move, fantastic move from Yukari Ashima there. She is. Flawless, I feel like, like I'm a commentator. Yeah. A boxing fight. <laughs> and she hits him with the right hand. And she, yeah. goes through the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, she takes him down. Over the roof. And now, I, you know, I've watched some There's, uh, commentaries where they literally physically speak every detail that's happening on the screen. I, sometimes like, I find those commentaries a little bit like, Yeah, we don't need to know. To that, but 
He's hit the bonnet. I want to know what, what you feel about a film. I want to know how yeah. a film impacts you, what way, you know, how, why you love it, what brought you to it. That's what I want to hear in a movie yeah, commentary, yeah, 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 even yeah. from a filmmaker's perspective. Absolutely. I don't want to hear about, you know, yes, okay, we shot this in this particular era well, and I mean, it was very hard to get a permit for Black for Black. Example, I mean, Jesus it's dreadful. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I would definitely drive around anger in that. <laughs> <laughs> However, I know that oh, I really am look at stunning. That. Isn't that just frigging gorgeous? Long and before the, the Infernal Affairs. A long before <laughs> Infernal Affairs. This is another thing we talk about whenever we come to Hong Kong cinema. The lighting oh, it's is flawless. Mwah. It is Perfection. it really is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And when we were there in 2019, there wasn't as much neon, I have to say. Mm. It seems to have kind of like been stripped back hmm. which is weird because yeah. i was expecting no there was still enough don't get me yeah. wrong i still felt and i knew i was in hong kong at night walking along the streets walking down nathan road shopping you could still see these lights everywhere in these bright neon colors yeah but just not like you would see in let's say 80s or early 90s hong kong movies as many yeah as that you know Even but I look at those buildings behind i mean it's pulling out detail oh absolutely would never pick up on a DVD. Oh, I'm just scanning no. the entire picture here. Absolutely not. As to how and wonderfully even that, shot this yeah, is. It is actually beautifully shot, isn't it? But these two women are gorgeous, aren't they? They're stunning, stunning human beings. I just love Moon Lee. I love Moon Lee's cheeky... playfulness yeah, yeah, in yeah, this. She has a cheekiness, as I was going to yeah. say. There, there is always that wee kind of smirk. That she does. I, I have to say, what I enjoy about Minley and Yukari Oshima together is their camaraderie. They seem to work exceptionally well mm. together. They have a very effortless chemistry. Yes, um, and it It's unusual for women to be paired up in film whenever they're not either hating each other or going through trauma together. Mm -hmm. It's it's quite an unusual thing to see women kind of banding together in friendship. And yeah. it tends to be female filmmakers that make films like that in but, the West. Very true, yeah. But in their film, there, there's... Hong Kong scene a <laughs> real I, just I know her trousers, trousers say slut. slut all over it oh my god <laughs> that's incredible um, but what I love about Hong Kong cinema is they seem to recognise whenever people have a natural chemistry between each other mm. be it male male female female mm. put them together it's non-sexual it's very subverted it's beautiful oh absolutely and they, yeah. Moon Lee and Yukari Oshima have that that very effortless kind of well, they do. It's know, like it, go between. Yeah, it's like they've always been together. They've always it's like they're friends together. forever. Yeah, you it's kind of like same with Cynthia Rothrock and Richard Norton. Absolutely, Perfect. all of their Wonderful pairings chemistry. are yeah. amazing. Yeah. You know, uh, regardless of how well or how good the film is or how bad the film is, mm -hmm. they always pull it together. Yeah, and that's the same with these guys right here. Yeah, Chow Sing Chi and Ning Man Tat. They always yeah. have this same chemistry, and it's almost like you watch a Moon Lee film expecting to see you carry Oshima and yes. vice versa yes absolutely and a lot of their single movies usually for not all of them but usually don't feel as strong as they do when they're paired together mm. there's not a problem with pairing though well it, it like, is you know Cannon and Ball <laughs> Laurel and Hardy <laughs> I, was, I was thinking more Laurel and Hardy you know when you become used to a, these people together. a professional pairing it becomes difficult to see them outside mm. of that but I think people get very much stuck in roles I mean it happens so often with so many people is that even with you know famous pairings mm -hmm. of actors or comedians or whatever mm. when they're paired together when they then go their separate ways it's like oh fuck it's really weird seeing them it like is that. it is but it's it? also the same as watching a character that you've that's in a show mm. for nine seasons and then well, you see them something else you go oh gosh it's, it seems this is strange yeah I, I mean you eventually then get used to it well I think because there was such a strong five year period with these two mm -hmm. always being together that yeah. you got like Cynthia Rothrock and Richard Norton actually didn't make that many movies together. It was maybe seven titles at a push. Right, okay. Yeah. As little as that? Yes. Right, okay. But it feels like they've always wow. been... Uh, there's always been Ralph Rock and Norton movies. Mm -hmm. There always feels... You know, like that's you've just because they keep releasing everything. it under different titles. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> buy it from Germany, buy it from America. Yeah, from Australia, yeah. And you know. you'll think you're getting a different film yeah, every yeah. time. That's probably why it feels like there's so many. But for me, that is something powerful that they give that impression mm -hmm. 
with how well they work together that they are in even more than they really are. Because mm -hmm. when I was interviewing Richard Knight, was gathering the movies together of his filmography, I was like, actually, you know, I thought I had many more movies with you and Cynthia, and he was like, no, we did, we didn't really do that many together. Mm -hmm. Very odd. But Wouldn't again, these any... guys would have started a lot more than that, though. Yes. And usually, oof, nice. fucking hell, usually amazingly kick-ass movies. I mean, we're seeing the potent... I love Min Lee here. <laughs> this is fantastic. She's... Oh, yes, girl, go. get oh, in. Look at that kick. That I axe know. kick, though, was just amazing. Nice. Whoa. So, of course, Jukari is Japanese. Yes. Went yeah. out after doing some television work in Japan. Uh, I think she went to the Sunny Shiba Action School. Okay. Um, and Very then did some television, you know, like the yeah. the kind of masked rider style yes, yeah, shows. Yeah. Uh, then went out to Hong Kong. Oh, I could obviously see her in like Kamen Rider and, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Oh, God, um, yeah. Super Sentai or something like that there, you know. Yes. Uh, and then Moon Lee, of course, had started off kind of before her big action role it was Iron Angels I suppose mm. but was in like uh, she was Yoon Byo's girlfriend in Winners and Sinners for a mm -hmm. little cameo oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she did a really great role in Zoo Warriors yes but it wasn't like a, it wasn't her mm -hmm. as, a, as an action star like, yeah. you know um, and in this I forgot to point this out earlier the Jason mm -hmm. uh, here mm -hmm. is y Yukari's father in this so he's a cop I mean, she was just released from prison, so ah. obviously she's a rebellious daughter. Mm -hmm. um, but he's keeping an eye out for her, and she doesn't want it. And then the big aunt, who is Sibel Hu, yeah. uh, and his partner is also keep trying to keep an oh, eye she out looks for her. Like she's like, she able really to stole does. Him other people. <laughs> but they it's very unfortunate with like, Sybil. Like, they did it? this a lot with her. They would throw her in baggy clothes, usually a tracksuit of some mm -hmm. sort, no matter what rank she was do we know who her um stunt double usually would be not not for this one i i didn't take note of that i have no, to say no, i should have i would say it would probably be down to the director probably tony Liu himself okay. if not um oh God, i know really? that, i know that you you and mo did uh the action choreography uh brother of well school brother of jackie chan mm -hmm. samahong you uh you and Byo, Yun Mo, Yun Kwai, uh, Yun Hua, and so on. Part of the Seven Little Fortunes. Okay. And he is kind of an underrated Yun, let's just say. Mm -hmm. But he has done so many wonderful things. In well, fact, if he choreographed these fight scenes, he did Oh, yeah, and they job, are so... pretty flawless. Like, yeah. Um, I watched him yesterday in Long Arm of the Law doing an amazing stunt where he hits the ice. Like, he takes a high fall and hits Ooh, ouch. an ice rink. And I remember watching him in uh, an interview in Kung Fu Stuntmen, never say die or never say no. Uh, and he talks about that particular stunt where it was like, I shouldn't have done it because it was really, it damaged him, you oh, know. I'm, I can imagine it did. Yeah. Uh, and then I watched him this morning in Last Hero in China as well. So oh, you he, watched he it this is morning? Out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fantastic to see that restoration. But, you know, he is, he's out there and he has mm -hmm. been out there. And I think he's just been missed because a lot of his bigger brothers have yeah. got the kind of got the limelight before him, you know, yeah. which is him. This guy is called Carol. I want to say Cheng, Chung. I can't remember his last name straight off, but he's usually this kind of hateful bad guy in a lot of movies, you know, mm -hmm. um, not terrible by any means, but oh, I, fe I feel that he's always a guy you love to hate. Mm. Sleazy. Yeah. Yeah. You probably think he's handsome. I do think he's quite yeah, handsome. I yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I do, yeah. <laughs> and there has been movies where he's looked better. So, yes, he does. I mean, there was other ones behind him there that weren't so handsome. No. You know, so. <laughs> and Jason's been, an attractive man as well. Do you know well. what? Jason used to be a phenomenal. I mean, he still moves fantastic in this, and he's still. Uh, we have to think this is over 30 years old already. God. Like, that's just friggin' nuts. But he was a he was a massive kung fu star in his own right. Um, in fact, he stars in a very forgotten and underrated kung fu movie I adore called uh, Demon Strike with Lung Gar Yang. Okay. Incredible! But he is a fantastic kung fu star. Um, 
not too many. He looks like a Shaw Brothers. Yeah, yeah, he does. Star, yeah, he? <laughs> yeah, yes. I could very Actually. much see Jason on the cover of like every Shaw Brothers oh, he, set yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. Absolutely. You know, if they, I think if they wanted to like take like they didn't even want to use like actor spaces, but they just, just wanted an example. A shot I think he would be a beautiful well, the, example for there that. There we have one of the original Shaw Brothers stars, mm -hmm. Lole. Amazing star. Um, past now, yeah. but. Uh, like he, like for example, I have the the Shaw Brothers box sets from Shout Factory here. Mm -hmm. uh, he's practically in every one of the first, every film of the first box set. Mm -hmm. You know, he was that popular, and quite a massive star. Eventually, kind of, kind of for in my eyes, sidelined for the likes of more prettier boys like T Lung and David Chang, mm -hmm. and even. Well, I'd say it was a similar period of Wang Yu, actually, to be honest. But they would star in quite a lot together. Yeah. And he's a phenomenal martial artist. Brilliant actor. Um, you know, who's went on to star in a host of modern Hong Kong action movies. I always remember one of the earliest ones I would have seen him in was Jackie Chan's Miracles, or Canton Godfather. Oh, yes, Godfather. And yeah. he was brilliant in that. Mm. But as he's got older, he's become a bit more of a... Let's Bad go. guy kind of looking, mm. you know what I mean? Lo Wei. Yeah, Lo, 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 Lo Wei. Lo Wei would be the director who did, uh, looked after Bruce Lee's uh, Fist of Fury and The Big Boss and Jackie Chan's earlier stuff okay. also. Um, you just keep me right, George. I'll keep you right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whether it's when it comes to the or... women, I'm fine. When it comes to the men, I'm, I, I just well, I don't I'm get shocked. the same. <laughs> when it comes to the men, I don't ask. I for just names. find that women in action just does something to well, they, my they... my mind and my body. They... I just love I'm it. I'm with you 100. Like I grew. Up, I mean, I, I grew up. I grew you grew up, up on this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I grew up on Buffy, Alias. Yeah. You know, Dark well, Angel, Relic Hunter. So, although. While you know, I was none of those. At those I know. On, I these know. people, these women, have nothing on my star. Well, Sarah Michelle <laughs> Gellar did get her black belt eventually by eventually. season seven, but she's. I mean, <laughs> kudos to her. She did a lot of her own stunts towards the end. Mm -hmm. Um, but it just it was oh, fun no, to see still, women in action. He's on. You know, he's on a roll now. He is it is to be respected that she got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't. I mean, look from this from the early sixties, you had the likes of. Ching Pei Pei and Lily Lee. Oh, of course. All these There's people were just, yeah. uh, you know, wowing me. Yeah. To the, and, and that's, and, but that's, I think that's the point. You had the, you, you grew up watching these films. Mm. Very niche market probably back then because it was small video stores and small cinemas that would have shown these kinds of films. Mm. I grew up in a, in, I know, in a time <laughs> of television when women were mm. coming out as the lead character but as uh they didn't need the man they yes, didn't need yes. anybody to kind of fight for them they could um, all do it yes, themselves that's right so i respect that in terms of a storytelling perspective because of course, of when course. you're a young i don't know why i put my cup down when you're a <laughs> i was going to get passionate when you when you're a young gay man hands. and and Tell me if this is something like universally amongst queer men. Okay. I mean, maybe people, if you're watching this and you grew up as a queer young man in the 90s or 80s or in George cases, the 50s. You. Um, the 25th. When, <laughs> whenever you grow up in a time when queer stories aren't being told as mm. like the leads, I think we tend to go towards women being stronger. So we gravitate w more towards stories I, where women are the the yes the hero. I, get, I get what you're saying yeah personally i have to go down a different road because i was Chan watching and, these yes and a lot of shaw brothers stuff which mm. was half naked men hugging yeah. helping each other practically homoerotic kung yeah. fu movies yeah mostly from chang che who i think was a closet gay let's be honest um but i for me there was I guess some sort of comfort in that, in yes. watching those kind of things. I mean, I hadn't decided myself what I was then, let's be mm, honest. Yeah. I hadn't come out as such. But knowing that that was there yeah. in a country like China. Yes. Uh, you know what I mean? It, it, yeah. it kind of, I was, that was my route I took. Yeah. So it's only because so, so, by so chance yeah, so I by fell into the Kung Fu movie. Yes, yeah, for chance you fell into that and you probably got not, influenced Andy, by but Andy Chang. I mean, if anybody Andy has Chang. a comment on that, I mean, if you did grow Jack up Long. like I did without watching these films, I mm. didn't start watching these films till 
like into the 2000s. Yes. Um, because my dad was a fan of like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, so mm. I didn't start watching them until much later because I was much more interested in you yeah, know Terminator. Has and, good taste, really. Yes, he does have very good taste. Mm -hmm. My father in films and action stars, but he also liked Schwarzenegger and Stallone yeah, and all yeah, those of course. people. So Absolutely. I grew up watching those ones because I didn't like reading subtitles whenever I was younger because yes. no child does really. Yeah. And um, the older I got, the more patient I became with it, and obviously I read more, so Whoa. it was easier to do. nice, nice, nice. There was nice. lovely, lovely lighting. This is like Beautiful the street. Lighting. Yeah. I talked about the street cafe yes. that we had dinner yes. at one night in Hong Kong. That's exactly how it looked. Lovely. And uh, this is Jack Wong, who just was sitting at the table, and Andy Cheng. Uh, now Andy works out in Hollywood. Uh, was working on Shang Chi and things like that with Brad, Alan. Um, oh, oh, that was, that lovely, was wasn't stunning. It? But these guys are both the members Ambers. of the Jackie Chan stunt team. Okay. So they would have. How worked. is he still kicking after having a machete rammed through his gut? Because they're from Hong Kong. And they just do things different. Hong Kong they're people built differently. are built differently, <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> nice! We nice. love to see it. Nice. It just wasn't you, Sybil, I'm sorry. But, but, what, <laughs> but beautiful. Artfully beautiful. doubled. Oh, artfully, yes. Artfully doubled. Artfully that you wouldn't even know. But she can fucking manage a gun like nobody's business. Oh, that business. woman is a girl with a gun but is, by when you, definition like, You alone. wonder what her thoughts were, like, oh God, another role where I don't look pretty. You know, like, she still looks pretty. But she's not made to Do look you know pretty, she probably you know? was like, I get to fire guns. <laughs> well, that's true. Like, not that I can do gun violence. I just think they look great in movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I just think it's a lot of fun in film. Absolutely. Um, well, he's scrubbed up. Yeah, scrubbed up. He's looking well. I mean, it's the, so, it's yeah. the, the early 90s. I, I hated the fashion of this period. Regard oh, she was whispering something to him there, obviously. Sweet nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I, I mean... Oh, I... she wasn't just whispering something because oh, no, no, no. he was adjusting his trousers. He was... <laughs> He's like, oh. oh, you saw my dick. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, no, I, I feel that, yes, there there's different, obviously there's different influences for, for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. I find it, now thinking back about it, mm -hmm. almost 40 years ago, I fell in love with Kung Fu Cinema. Mm -hmm. How the fuck does a six-year-old go down that road well, of finding only, 46. <laughs> <laughs> only but yes. how do you find how, like uh, even i think but i think you that's know, what i think it's like with anybody finding i i think whenever you're young you're impressionable you see things that you're like hmm it's interesting it's like it was like me with horror yeah i started on horror extremely oh, young loved... because they were on the top shelf yes and it yeah. was like mm. <laughs> And they always had great art covers, like <laughs> the did. Freddy, the Freddy posters Absolutely. were phenomenal. So I loved that. So I was like, hmm. And I talked my parents into it. Yeah. And mum and dad were like, you know what? We Why did it not? when we were kids. If you can handle it, well, don't be coming same. into our room and crying about yeah, it in yeah, the middle yeah, of the night. Exactly. <laughs> so if you can sit and you can but go But I feel that's the exact yeah. same reason because a lot of the Kung Fu covers back then were so beautifully yes, drawn. Yes, absolutely. It wasn't that kind of shitty 90s looking American style Photoshop of the of the actors on the yes, front. Yes. These were hand drawn art pieces, which we're seeing mm -hmm. today from Kung Fu Bob, Sean Longmore, Tony Stella and all these. They're doing phenomenal jobs. Absolutely. Keep up, but doing amazing. That's what attracted would, me to them. I would love to see Sean do Angel Terminators <gasps> cover work. Bob, oh. I love you. I love you, Bob. My God. But yes. Sean doing Angel yeah. Terminator's covers would be well. He he's season. done the inspectors wear yes, skirts, which I love. Yeah, and I feel that that would be a nice addition. So he already knows oh, how. So how well. He knows already how to do. To okay, so she's not a draw. bad. She's mover. not a bad. Mover. That's what I say. She can move. It's she's just not... bigger stunts that she's going to mm. have to be doubled in. I am more so the name. acrobatics. Let's okay, say. Okay. Yeah. She's definitely doubled in acrobatics. Yeah, because she's a she's a smooth mover, but I suppose so that then so just like. <laughs> As you're saying, we find our path. I think that's also why a lot of queer men, why uh, queer sin, uh, queer men find horror cinema like they gravitate to it. Yeah, the final girl. Mm. You know, it's it's a, it's a very odd thing. It is for for men, but, but a very to, subconscious to thing. Also, subconscious thing. Yes, you're kind of repressing. <sighs> but is it me. also a sense of you're a, an admiration for women? Because for me, that's what it was. It wasn't so much that I fancied women mm. or had a, a sexual interest in them. It was yeah, more yeah, like yeah. I was. The I admired that they. Women. Absolutely. Mm. You know, Sarah Connor, Ellen Ripley. Yes. You know. Yeah. Buffy Summers, all of those people, I loved, and then I got into say Michelle. 
mm-hmm. in films I go in to see and you know Cynthia. happened Cynthia Rothrock in films I happened upon Min Lee in a film once and I was like oh my god who is this woman yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, her Angie Karyoshima in the same film I was like mm-hmm. my god who are these people yeah. and then it's so hard to get your Phenomenal. hands on them yes you know and that's well, the you problem you come here to I come to my George's, studio yeah, and, and, that's <laughs> and get your hands get on them. as many yeah. as you want I just can't take them away <laughs> with me that's the thing <laughs> Not a rental George store. Do- no, George it's doesn't let people store. borrow. <laughs> That's why I'm chasing down so many videos today because I lent Rent that many the, yeah, out. Yeah. They never came back. I think it should be in good faith. I give you all of the Nova Media You did. Ones. You were very, very kind. So, very kind indeed. Uh, funny, I, I was looking at my Didn't Nova Didn't I not Media give you today. all my idiot ones? No. Like the hard ones? No, no, no. Did I not give you those ones? No. Oh, no. Just Nova, the Nova, Nova Media. Nova Media. Which are beautiful. Again, yeah, you know, stunning. so well yeah, done. They do a good job. Beautifully designed. And that's the, this is the thing. You know, Hong Kong cinema in the last, I would say, especially the last four to five years, has seen such a surge from boutique labels. labels yeah. That is just phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And yes, it's costing an absolute fortune. And look at all those toys in the yes. background. Just, oh, my God. Just reminds me of walking down the streets Her in Tokyo. Her hair colour is beautiful mm, not a color Sorry. you would see in the dvd totally distracted version. no no it just looked black in the dvd yeah. version but the red is really popping yeah loving oh, it absolutely the colors are stunning in this and the picture quality is the picture phenomenal. quality is unreal and we will probably talk about that more as the movie goes absolutely on more action sequences. but yes I, I i was gonna say there's so many labels pumping stuff out mm-hmm. which is phenomenal yeah and as happy as we are with those we're still wanting other titles yes. you know like this like Iron Angels, like, and it's almost it's like the, they're going for what the, no ba- the bigger the names that are going to sell. <laughs> yeah, the Jackie Chans. Now the Jet Lees are coming out. Yes, the Jet. But then we, it'll be Chai Young Fat. Yes, probably. I feel, and Chai Sing Chi is and obviously getting released yeah, at the yeah. moment too. Um, Look at these kicks, love Stephen Chai. But like you know, um, oh, f- so fantastic, fantastic. But not a stumble. Not, not not even a wobble. No, it's just like... And we know there's right takes. Oh, but, of course. Um, we do know a lot of these ones are shot in one take as well. Um, well, these, these because ladies... Because a lot of them are from quite far back, so they are done in one take. So yeah, and it probably takes a while. these ladies are professionals, yeah, let's be are. honest yeah. here. This isn't their first rodeo. No. Their first rodeo we saw and we loved. Mm-hmm. We absolutely <laughs> loved. Such... <laughs> But wow, I mean, the the action is so fast. Mm-hmm. But fast and crisp. Yeah. And she just loves getting pushed around, doesn't still she? But I think that's what I love enough... about these two ladies, is mm-hmm. they can take a beating as well. There's not a, a punch and a kick, and that lady then gets doubled to fall to the ground, which we see a lot with American actresses regardless. Course, yes, absolutely. But these are, the, these are the guys that are getting hurt, as mm-hmm. much as they are delivering the hurt, yeah. <laughs> they are getting beat senseless. Oh, now her dad's in the station after her being arrested again. For goodness sake. Um, but yeah, I. do you know what? They will come to us. Angel Terminators, Iron Angels, all these girls with guns. Think eventually, they they're going to. Fatal movies. Mm-hmm. They have to. I mean, well, they've done like Black Cat and stuff, you know. Yeah, which we're getting, I know it's Cat 3. We're getting but... drips. We're getting drips, right? Yeah. Aspe- Inspectors wear skirts. Yes, I think this could be good start. the start of it. I really hope it's the start of it. Well, like, in the line of duty, would have been a great start. I know it's not well, girls with guns, but yeah, it's like they Cynthia were. is in most of those, Cynthia Khan's in most of yes. those films. So it's like, I kind of think that like a seven, was there seven? Seven. Seven. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. If they had yeah. it done like that, oh you know, gosh. with Cynthia Khan, she's in all, is she in all in bar so one? Michelle's in the first and second, yes. which is Yes Madam, yeah, them, um, Royal Warriors. Yeah. And then Cynthia kind the of rest. takes over. Yeah. You know, but again, that... that so, I mean, that would, be, that would have been a perfect starting oh point. You know, a, 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 a kind of jumping board for this Girls With Guns female mm. action film box But sets. that's what I say. It's only... It's every sort of, like, six months to a year we're getting drip... A little drip of femme fatale action yeah. here. A little bit of that. A little bit... Whereas you kind of have this range of Jackie Chan movies unleashed mm-hmm. then re-released with a different cover yeah. then re-released uh-huh, again in, yes. a, in a different format and, you know Christ. it's like it's endless I know I, I've, I've <laughs> taken a real dislike to 4k because 
I, you know, check Dawn of the Discs on Instagram because, mm. well, he used to be very, very consistent with what he puts yes. up. It's not yeah, so yeah, much yeah. anymore, but I would always check kind of occasionally. And I then see, like, a picture of Jackie and I'm like, <gasps> oh, something new? Something and new. it's like, oh, for fuck's sake, it's same Play same Story in 4K with a different cover. Yeah, like, yeah, give yeah, us a yeah, break. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Exactly. exactly. HD quality is fine. It's perfect. I yeah. don't need anything more. Then no. I don't even actually need more than a DVD picture, provided the DVD pictures of good quality. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. However, HD, I'm, I'm fine with Blu-ray. The Blu-ray, Just most give us a Blu-ray. Of, if not, all of those Blu-rays that have been released have blown me away. Yeah. Because it's the restoration on that Blu-ray is what's wowing me. Mm-hmm. It's not the fact that it is a 4K disc. No. It's that 4K or 2K restoration. Yeah. Uh, I watched Long Arm of the Law 2 yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I said in my, in my video for it, best release for media films this year as in terms of its restoration okay that's, it wow. was fucking stunning i mean the, there were scenes in that that i was on the edge of my seat for on a visual level mm-hmm. not for any action or anything like yeah. that but how beautiful they looked on that television i was like wow and comparatively obviously we're not watching this in 4k tv but comparatively mm. the, the the inspector wear skirts to restoration to angel terminators 2 from spectrum films the comparison comparatively how are they restored i mean kind of well, equally or I, again well we don't know because it's well, not inspectors were, game. inspectors were skirts 2 hasn't been released yet oh it's coming in february oh okay now well, if we took this inside and watched it on the 4k mm-hmm. player on the 4k television yeah a bit upscale i would say we we're going to see something even more wow. but watching this now on a regular blue player mm-hmm. the regular flat screen television it mm-hmm. looks phenomenal it does so people are doing the right thing with these restorations. Mm-hmm. But I also get a lot of feedback from people that are very technical about mm. how, let's say, the grain isn't right or too much or it's been lost because there's digital noise reduction or the sound is off because it's not well, the right channel. I mean, it's, the subtitles are wrong because they weren't translated <sighs> properly. Listen. I mean, these are minor ailments when it comes to things like <laughs> dnr subtitles they're getting better oh absolutely people linguistics people are starting to understand language better and we're able to as time goes on able to um translate those better mm, mm. dnr is something that can if there has been dnr on any kind of footage it's it's hard to do unless oh, you're gonna absolutely. do adr over the top of it so it, it's one of those things that you kind of just have to to go with whatever footage you have available you've got to you've got it. to pull what yeah. the best quality footage from wherever and work with what you have and unfortunately for all of those technical people out there and i respect that you have so much tenacity and love for the technicality of film mm. and all of it there and this is no disrespect Film was not looked after in the same way not. as what it is today because today we don't use film. I would as say much. The we're last using digital. Twenty years have only really started looking after looking that after kind of things. Stuff, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, so depending on, <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love her giftiness here. She's fantastic. Her she and really Carrie are just oh brilliant. So you know, I, when you're trying to find films like this that are a little bit more obscure. Mm-hmm. Pulling footage from different sources because one has a better quality, this one has better quality of that scene, that one has better quality. Yeah. Pulling that all together and trying to streamline that into the best picture quality possible, mm-hmm. there's going to you're going to come over issues. Oh, there's gonna be lines, there's gonna be grain, of course. there's gonna be DNR, there's gonna be subtitle issues, but people are working on that. Well, and people this is why idiot, Eureka, yeah, all of those companies are doing such a good job because they care about the quality. They care about how it's subtitled because yeah, they want yeah, it to be yeah. as accurate as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And when we get companies like this and we support companies like that that are doing these things, they can only get better. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'm my sentence. Like You're very welcome, darling. Thank you. <laughs> but I, but I also just see it, and here it is, in, is in a nutshell. Just enjoy the movie. Absolutely, 100%. They, you know, you're not going to see. Like, if I have a video of Angel Terminator Two, I know. For a fact, it is not going to look like this. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be in 4.3 mm-hmm. and it's going to be dodgy picture. So this, for me, yeah. is miles ahead of anything I have ever mm-hmm. expected. 
it's a miles ahead of what I expect uh, actually as well. Thirty years ago, to, if, if, if when Angel Terminators came out, and mm-hmm. I, if I had heard about that, I would not imagine that today we're watching it as sharp this, and yeah. clean and colourful and as it really it does. And that's the thing; it's about enjoying it. If you mm. love a film, you're going to enjoy it regardless. I mean. Um, recently I had bought um, the size of our tattoos you can tell that those are thick ones <laughs> yeah, actually they, now yes. in, the, in the HD, HD transfer is really just... oh it's it's ruined the magic <laughs> it's ruined the magic I do love that it's, it's just... pulling it out so much <laughs> it's, it's got that outline on and it, it's got it? the sheen of yeah. like it being like a press on um, and they're not as good as what they are now, the press-ons. <laughs> so these are not press-ons, these are real <laughs> that was pretty um, good that was very good <laughs> but um I re- oh, we're getting into the fight, so I'll talk about what I was going to talk about after this kind of oh, fight. She's oh, she's just getting nope, angry. that's good. Okay, Carrie has sort of a uh, temper tantrums. Yes. <laughs> Shall um, we say. And very cool trousers. So, you know, we're we're talking about enjoying. If you enjoy something, it shouldn't matter. I mean, obviously, if the disc skips and things like that there, that's a technical issue, and mm-hmm. that is... That's problematic for me. Yes. Even yes. with, like, on a TV show, if one episode on a disc skips, uh-huh. I'm like, I'm setting it back. Setting it back. Because exactly. it's ruined the whole experience for me. <laughs> it really does, though. No, I get you to- uh, but totally. But you're saying about enjoyability. Like, I love the show Relic Hunter mm-hmm. with Tia Carrera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's never been released complete in the UK or the US. Oh, only right. Only in Australia. But the Australian box set is extremely expensive uh, yeah, I can imagine right? so everything from Australia is yeah. extremely expensive so Koch Media yeah released Jones. Relic Hunter mm-hmm. on HD uh, Blu-ray wow now compressed because there's about 12 episodes mm. so a lot of people talk about I watched unboxing videos of like the Stargate SG-1 box set mm-hmm. you know that came mm-hmm. from VEI um, visual entertainment and how they put like six episodes on night this picture quality is phenomenal on it yeah. but I have to say the picture quality on the Koch Media Relic Hunter Blu-ray disc is fantastic why? because Blu-ray is get they're finding out ways how to put Expand more that. on it yeah, yeah 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 so Blu-rays from way back whenever they were sticking 20 episodes onto a Blu-ray disc mm-hmm. the compression was going to be you're having it in the 4 it's and 9 tight. you know it's yeah, tight yeah, it's yeah, horrible yeah. it doesn't yeah. look great Relic Hunter looks phenomenal. Oh, really? It looks so good. Wow. It's, it looks like it's been shot yesterday. Wow. That's how well it's done. That kind so, of thing blew me away. You see, there is a little bit things. of lag in some sound oh. on a couple of the episodes because of the compression. So it's, it's got, obviously it's happened. Happen. Yeah. And that but pisses not, people off. Yes. And I'm like, okay, okay. It's an, it, yes, it can be frustrating. You're like, oh, there's a bit of a lag. Mm. However, there was just a blip on that screen. Am I going to freak out that that wasn't cleaned off? No, no, because exactly. I like the film. <laughs> don't dig, don't dig too deep. No, what we're saying, just enjoy but, it. Well, actually, if you want to dig deep, you dig as deep as you possibly want. Because if that's your thing, that's your thing. Hmm. For us personally, well, I'm speaking for me, I, but I'm speaking I, for you too. Oh, absolutely. Personally, it's yeah. the enjoyability. Yeah. If I like yeah. something, I don't care the quality of what I'm watching it on. If I enjoy it, I'm gonna love it. And if they bring it out, well, I think done in a 2K or HD restoration. I'm going to love it even more because it looks bad. Well, this comes with only French subtitles, which yeah. we don't read. No. But we're still not complaining. I know a little bit of French, but I, we're still I wouldn't not, know We're exactly still not what complaining, though. No, no. I still bought it. Yeah. Because I wanted to see this movie clean. Yeah. And that, look at that colour. And the colours just... Wow. That is just gorgeous. Absolutely. But that that's what I mean. It's we're, I so think pristine. We're also being spoiled... With how these are being presented today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when we do come across a release that is perhaps not as spectacular. Like Man by the Sun. Well, there you go. So there's a perfect they example because we did those recently. Yeah, they looked but amazing. But they were still amazing looking. Yeah. Not as... Not as sharp as this. No. Definitely and the not. Color, look at that colour. But did we complain? Absolutely not. No, we, we loved didn't. it. Loved yeah, well, it. Love, we just got to appreciate it. We appreciated it. it. <laughs> yes, we appreciated the fact that <laughs> someone went to the effort to bring those to yes, us. Yes, exactly. Um, and this, this is the same with this film. This is Although her, this is pretty flawless from what I've, I've been really able to see. It really is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is their friend on the on the left here in the red. Mm-hmm. And she's kind of been, I suppose, trafficked in some respects mm-hmm. to become a bit of a call girl. Is this the girl that had the long hair? At the, she, at the, at the start, she yeah. was one of their friends. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and the girlfriend of one of the guys mm-hmm. who's in their circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and they've just seen her in this restaurant and recognised her and now they're going to try and 
separate her from her captives. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, she is just a hoot. She is an absolute hoot. Hey, so Sybil, yeah, there's just something about her that her comedy and everything. She's just brilliant. I just think she's wonderful. Um, but you know, again, this is an era from Hong Kong that we don't get today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we don't get this feel the same kind of edginess. I, no. The 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 comedy. Yes, the comedy is. Oh still yes, there the for, humor is. Yeah, there. it's still yeah. there. But although, do you not find? Look at that tunnel. That those class? blues and purples are unbelievable. Yeah. Her face is beautifully lit there. It's, it's everything's so colourful. It really is. It really is just wonderful. Um, do you not find that um, Hong Kong cinema is going very much down CGI route with a lot of their action yes. sequences now? Unfortunately so. Yeah. Um, and that is down to a number of things. One, now they can afford to do it and they're trying to keep up with Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, the great action heroes of this era are kind of getting on in years mm. and starting to die out. Yeah. Uh, and that's just, you know, I suppose that's just the nature of the beast. I think what we've got here from the 70s through to the mid-90s, maybe the late 90s at a push, is uh, a, a few decades, a couple of decades, sorry, of um, gems, mm -hmm. where they were at the height of production they were pumping out hundreds of titles because everything had to be done practically mm. mm -hmm. there's nothing fake about these films no which is part of the attraction yeah for me mm -hmm. um you know you look at i mean i mean gosh, you, you know when I, you do comparatively with with western titles because yeah. you look at the likes of die hard and you think wow like they're just blowing that thing up at the nakatomi plaza it was probably a miniature this yes. here, they yeah. do it all they do it for in real. scale. Mm -hmm. So, because there's, there was no way around it, obviously, they no. had to do it. No. And funny, I was watching with, the, for example, the Long Arm of the Law Blu-ray release. I watched mm. an interview um, with uh, Phil Chan, the screenwriter, and Billy Chan, the action choreographer, and they were talking about how they Look booked... Wolf. Yes. It's just amazing, though, how she moves. They were talking about how they were throwing grenades for real, how they were blowing shit up for real, mm -hmm. and just running. Yeah. You know... <laughs> And you hear that a lot from Hong Kong filmmakers, that they would just pull it off and get out of there, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. <laughs> before the police turned yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that the, the bystanders, you'll find find a lot of... Oh, we've we're, written we're a stop. Yeah, yeah, they're watching because they don't know what's going yeah. on. And, and, it, and it adds, I, I, for me, that adds a, a hell of a lot of authenticity to, to a film. When you do something so unexpected and people are reacting in a street, if you blow up a car and they're like, oh, yes, shit. It's, it's real. It's like you're getting the uh, 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 a genuine reaction from your extras that aren't even really extras. Uh -huh, yeah. You're not paying free, any it's money. It's a free yeah, reaction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's great. I love it. Absolutely. This is these, they've come to this kind of, I suppose brothel manager mm -hmm. uh, I, I suppose uh, nice 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 teaching him a thing or two nice oh, man lovely lovely move <laughs> her face so she's so hilarious at times and I always love her in comedies you know like mm -hmm. only in comedy she's she's just a gem to watch you carried it she's done a few comedies don't get yeah. me wrong she she's, has. A, she's a much more stoic type yes, of actress absolutely Absolutely. So he's obviously recorded something sexual with these girls mm. and keeping them as a, I guess, as a bargaining chip. Yeah. Ooh. Bad move. Bad move. Look at that ponytail, wouldn't you? Just love to snip that off. <laughs> That's a bad guy ponytail, but mm. he's only... <laughs> Fucking there's a wee dungaree guy, you know, he's going to get beaten. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you are done, Grace. You die. Well, my husband's just ordered another pair, I, I so we'll just, not yeah, say yeah. that. I knew as soon as you popped uh, yes, that out. Yes, yeah. As soon as it came out, it was like, shit. Yeah, he's <laughs> not He won't have to die. <laughs> so has, has any of this come back to you from watching it not the first time? Not at all, actually. Wow. Um, I, I feel like I'm watching this for the very first time. That's not a bad thing. It's not. That, that really is not a bad thing. Mm. Um... I'm just wondering, is this the same 
Chim Chat Choi shopping centre that Jackie did the police story stunt in. It doesn't look it has like it. It's similarities. Similarities, but... and there's a lot of them. So there are. I went to that particular one when mm. I was out there. Changed so much. You really had oh, to I'm guess sure. where yeah. things were, you know. There's really no nice shops in it anymore. It's all offices. Oh, man. Do you know, I must put together someday, uh, like, a, a top ten shopping centre fight scenes. For oh, yeah, nights. that would be brilliant. Wouldn't that be nice? Because there's so many. <laughs> oh, nice. They use everything. Absolutely. Nothing within the set piece goes to waste. No. So, no, no matter what is there... It's and utilized. Look how many moves are being done yes. in one shot. Yes. That's what I'm saying. It's all like one take. Yeah. So it's like an American movie, so you get one, two punch, yeah. cut. Yeah. You know, a kick or a fall, mm -hmm. cut. Whereas with this, it is just beat after beat after beat after beat. And it is a dance. And it's it that's what I was just about to say. It's a dance. It's a dance. It's a dance with just a lot of physical contact. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> that probably hurts. I would say there's a lot of these moves are controlled. Uh, controlled, but yes. But not but stopped. No. <laughs> I mean, he's I mean, just going to fail it. it. Yeah, 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 you're going to yeah. fail it no matter what. You can see there's force in his kicks there, but... Oh, and this lovely. is part of the majesty of Hong Kong cinema is that no matter what they utilize everything that is at their disposal yeah, yeah, yeah. and that is you as a as a as a film lover mm. you appreciate that because we become so accustomed to you know only certain things you know like oh they're gonna break that that glass because that's yes. the only one that they could probably afford uh -huh. so well american movies being, they've kind of spoon feed you they do they happening. do yeah but yeah. You know, in these films, it's like, we may not break a window, but you know what? We're going to be able to kick over bottles. We're going to be able to, be able to use the escalators on the stairs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all of this stuff. We're going to be able to run through Every it. kind of, everything it's, else. Do you know what I've also just noticed about this? What, is, what? is it Christmas decorations up? Yeah, is it? It is, actually. And this yes. is coming out around Christmas on our channel. So it's wow, like, yay, okay, yay. Pick, Merry the, pick the right one. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that. You know, what, what Christmassy movie? I Although, just kind of thought it was just... Hong Kong decoration. Well, <laughs> um, didn't actually piece it together. Really, to oh dear. But again, this oh, that like that was a foot and a half that in the was. gut, wasn't it? But like, how bad would you feel kicking women around? Like, even though it's for a for a shoot, but you would still kind of want to, as as realistic as you want to keep it. Yeah. You really wouldn't want to hurt them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although you know. I'm sure they're, again, this is, it's something, it's their job. It's not I'm actually something watching they're... a lot of people in the background and they're actually fleeing, kind of like, what the fuck yeah, is happening yeah, here? Yeah, there is quite a bit, actually, yeah. And again, this, you know, there's, this is the other thing I always catch myself thinking about in, while watching these movies, is running down these stairs, mm -hmm. jumping off. There's a lot of ankle breaking could happen here, mm -hmm. but they always kind of manage to get down, you know? <laughs> Oh, that was that was a pretty brutal. But others oh, dungry I caught. Oh yeah, but that's the thing. There's you know, it's not even just the fights and the stunt work. It's just the movements. They're going so fast on certain things that you kind of think, how did they not fall? How did they not trip or break break something? Mm -hmm. You know. Again, the colors here. There's a real just... like sublime poetry to that movement, mm. particularly with Moonlight, I think, because of her dance background. But that kind of like, it, it's so. Oh, I Do you know what I feel about Moonlee? I feel that Moonlee kind of her career stopped before it really took off. Really took off. Yeah. I feel there was a surge of of Moon and Yukari movies mm -hmm. and Girls with Guns movies. Mm -hmm. The femme fatale genre kind of just. Yeah. It kind of hit this massive peak and around the mid-90s took a massive nosedive. Because mm. everything that Cynthia Khan starred in from 95 through to 99, pretty much, died a death. It wasn't very it's good. Shame, it? Yeah, it is a shame. It is a shame. Um, and there was obviously a change in what people wanted, mm -hmm. but the filmmakers didn't... didn't try to do anything different with the female action stars. I was going you know? to say, there's a, there, there will always be a change in what people want that. and they want to see. Yes. But you navigate that with the stars because yeah. if they're making money for you, you 
try and incorporate that them into that change. Mm-hmm. And I'm no doubt that they could have done that with Cynthia Cam and Lee Yukari Oshima. Oh, they managed to do it yeah. with Michelle Yeoh. Exactly. Why couldn't they do it with anybody else? Exactly. So, you know, it's... Um, yeah, when you think about it, there there hasn't been a lot of... A lot of Hong Kong started from this era that has really kind of went on to, no. to continue but, but to do with it's even name? like I, I think like western people don't know what to do with Asian actors I mean you look mm. at the likes of Fala Chen and um, Fan Bingbing and stuff like that they're, when they're in I mean, Hong the, Kong they're you know doing great films yeah they come to America they do it's a short movie old, same old same old yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you know or a monster movie yeah. it's like yeah. Right. Okay. We we don't really need to see you in a Godzilla film. You know. Well, we'd you know, like to see look at the Meg something. too. Recently, there they put Wong Jing or Wu Jing. Sorry, not Wong Jing. Man, if they put Wong Jing, it would have pissed myself. <laughs> they put Wu Jing up again uh, with Jason Statham, mm-hmm. and it was a fun movie. But this is one of the biggest martial arts action mm-hmm. stars, and China's probably China's biggest star at the moment. Mm-hmm. A kind of just taking on a shark, and yeah. it's, it's yes, it's, it's fun, yeah. but it's not what we want to see him do, mm-hmm. you know? Whereas what I would And have they thought, obviously didn't bring Fan Bing Bing back for the second one. No, but then but, again, the other, the other thing is, you see them doing the same actress, for example, mm-hmm. coming into fantasy roles. Yes. It's always the yes. fantasy role, and that's... Oh, there's no originality. I feel... No. I feel that when Hong Kong film stars do that trek to the West, usually it kind of breaks them. I'm sure, and I'm sure it comes with a massive promise that's directors. Completely... Directors are always pawned off. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I always hark back to Stanley Tong, who brought Jackie with Rumble in the Bronx, Police mm-hmm. Three, Three, First Strike, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Produced the Martial Law series with mm-hmm. Samo. Yeah. His first Hollywood directorial. Cancel too soon. Cancel too soon. Very much so. Mm-hmm. But his first directorial film given to him from and Hollywood. That was Kelly Who in that one mm-hmm. mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. But Stanley's first Hollywood production as a director, mm-hmm. Mr. Magoo with Leslie. Oh, are you serious? Yep. Which wow. Obviously died a death, feel mm, com- yes. and completely. And I do remember watching it though, however. I, I but... mean, I laughed. But also, mm-hmm. why Why would you give one of Hong Kong's biggest directors and mm-hmm. stunt directors and action directors this type of movie? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. No and I sense find that I find that Hollywood almost have a okay. This, this guy's massive back home, but let's teach him a lesson here that he that There's we're the big that, yeah, yes. Yeah. There is a prejudice, and I see that with a lot of Hong Kong people. We saw it with Jackie and his multiple attempts trying to get into Hollywood mm-hmm. from from the seventies or uh, late seventies and into the eighties again yeah. in the nineties and so on. But they used him as a comedic tool in Rush Hour. It was the language barrier, yeah. and that's what. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's but he was what still kind of held ignited back. that. He was. He was held back, yeah. but that's what ignited his fame here. I feel like he was a punchline more yes. than a movie star. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, having that kind of like, you know, I, I, I do, I, I think I've maybe talked about this on another audio commentary. I'm not too sure. I do like that he doesn't take himself so seriously. Like, I mm. watch, I watch the outtakes on the tuxedo yeah, with Jennifer yeah. and he's saying things to her and she's just cracking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. she's on... Now, I have yeah. heard this about Jennifer that she's she is very... Giggly. She's a giggler. Yeah, like, yeah, she, yeah. she laughs a lot on set. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I liked to see that, that she's not treating him as a joke. Mm. She's respecting him, but she's just one of those people and he's laughing along with her. Yes, yeah. But, he, but, I mean, that's the thing. He's still... By the time the tuxedo came out, it was he was less of a joke and tra- being treated more of a star. However, the movie was more wire-fu and it was like the all movie, of that, that kind movie of stuff. That movie should have starred Sammo Hung. And he would have been much better in that Samuel film. Hung he would have been... Well, Jackie been. was fantastic. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Sam, yeah. It, it, it seems like a more Sammo type role, yes. right? Well, it just made sense with... Look, oh, there's shit. Dungary guy. Hung and her as well. And God him. almighty, they've just killed him. A Lole. Because he went yeah. for revenge for yeah. them. Uh, as an old triad. triad uh, he decided dark. to go and... Yeah. But yes, I feel, I feel that there's... I feel that part of me thinks that these Hong Kong stars that didn't get the Hollywood break mm-hmm. got away with it. I feel that they like it was a bullet, like a, a yeah. They dodged the bullet. Dodged a bullet. That's they what dodged the word the is it exactly. They weren't. Phrase, they sorry. they didn't go to Hollywood. And Bruce Lee tried it with it. You know, mm-hmm. he he tried it. And yes, Ender the Dragon was a massive hit and still yeah. uh, one of the greatest 
as such, but... But who got more fame out of it? I mean, Bruce obviously became an icon oh, that yes. Chuck Norris ended up becoming well, the yeah, one that's with the career. From, from with Way yeah. of the Dragon yeah. and then onwards. But that's what I mean. There's 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 a step that they're given, mm-hmm. but then it's kind of like, but you just yeah. got to back down here, yeah. you know? And I don't feel the promises are always there. Because I think that they realize that if they bring this over, th- these people over... They can do all their own stunts. They can fight. They can. They're okay with being near explosions and fire yeah. and all of that stuff. But here's it's like, our safety oh, list. Oh shit! Here's our well. Here's our safety list. And also, <laughs> hmm, what are our stunt performers going to do? All these yeah. stunt doctors that we have, you know. But or... then you look at ho- you look at Hollywood today, and you see the influence from Hong Kong mm-hmm. action is in every movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like it is fucking there without a doubt. 100%. Every action choreographer in Hollywood today is trying to do what these guys were doing 30, 40 years Mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. Plus. So so there has been a a quiet, I suppose, a quiet influence from Hong Kong that they haven't, few have talked about, but this has definitely been the inspiration for them to do what they're doing. Absolutely. You know, and now everyone talks about Oh, that's so John Wick or John Wick. That's this is so John Wick. That's so John Wick. Yeah, you know, this is gorgeous. Look, Look at, at that. this shot. I mean, on the DVD, you didn't even see the liquid in those bottles, no. but that is beautiful. Oh, what a phenomenal! Isn't it clean up? Oh, bam, bitch! Oh. Wow, that was a lovely little kick there. Wasn't that nice? Nice cut, actually. Up the there. deck. Oh, I would have put straight up the crotch there with that knife. I mean, that's that quite. Oh, nice. Oh, that's that. Yeah, she is not backing down. Like, no. I like the fact that he pulled the same move off twice on her. Yeah, and she didn't really. Oh, nice nice. right out on the nipple there. He's just. I mean, if you're walking down the street, even though you can see all the cameras and all, and mm-hmm. you notice that this was going on, there was a burning car. Oh, that kid's fingers could have yeah. just went. She had it just been a centimeter or two over. Oh, boom. He'd have lost a finger. But you would nice. kind of kind of panic. Look see at this. the Isn't beauty that? of that restoration. Isn't that it? is stunning. The color. With the flames, the color. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I wouldn't stand too close to that no, car with those, with those petrol bombs, like, to be totally honest with you. Oh, yes. This is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. We've actually become a bit flummoxed, I, actually, we have, haven't we? we? Just, it's kind of stopped us in our tracks. It has? I, I never really not, not dislike this scene on the DVD. It was just never great quality to take in what is actually going on here. That car is burnt to fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, like literally. But this is gorgeous. Oh no. Bam. Oh, for goodness sake. I totally forgot that she was Mm. wiped out. Oh. Fuck. Nice. Shit. Oh, there's your dad. Yeah. A bit late. Too late. Oh, that's a bit of a... Beautiful shot, though, of you carry look, space. Also, I'm just looking... What this restoration is showing me is that the, the, the double use of material in his jacket there is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've never <laughs> noticed that. Oh, no. I feel oh, that was a bit of a delayed reaction from Jason it there. It just a, a tad... But very melodramatic moment there with mm, father moment, and daughter yeah. finally being together again. Look at these old cars. I know. I remember the these. Anti. Not the police cars, but the actual make, the Fords and stuff on the streets of Elfest. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Wow. I know. Like, oh, they'd f- sort of like stop us there, didn't it? They did. Absolutely. Did. <laughs> She's such a mess in, that, in those clothes. <laughs> uh, she was always done very tomboyish yeah but she's a beautiful woman yeah, yeah 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 and we do thankfully we get to see that and she's very much gets a, a more respectable role in Inspector Twer Skirts mm-hmm. um, but yeah, there's uh, quite a lot of them she's very tomboyish in them 
Oh, what a shame! But I know. I would have. Yeah. It, again, there's a plenty of other movies where we can enjoy Moon Lee and you carry Oshima in the grand finale together. Uh -huh. But I totally forgot she was um, killed in this. Gosh. That would explain the um. What movie the did building? We, we watched a movie not too long ago where we talked about it almost being low on budget. Oh, I can't remember now what it was. There was a particular scene in a hospital. Nah, it'll come back to me. Okay. But it was like pretty much like obviously they'd literally borrowed a corner of a corridor uh -huh. to, <laughs> to kind of make it look like they were in a hospital. You know. What was that? I wonder what that was. Yeah, I'll remember. I'll try and remember what what it was. But again, regardless, you know. There is pretty much one and a half corridor here that I'm yeah. using, or that I'm guessing they're only allowed to use. Mm -hmm. And it, I would say it's definitely a real hospital because you see the scuffs on the walls yes, and yeah, the doors, yeah, 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 where the beds have been rammed through and scratched down the down the sides. There's not a lot of set building going on for this one. No, but I, I mean, it makes sense in the thing, R well, really, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But I don't think as well it was a big budgeted movie. I don't no. feel it, it, that this is the type of stuff. And Tony Liu, as great a director as he was, uh, he never did big budgeted movies. She's a great crier, isn't she? Mm. But she's an actress. Yes. That's with the thing with Sybil. Sybil, she's an actress. Uh, same with Chow Yun-Fat, which yeah. I was going to get to earlier about the Hollywood discussion. Mm -hmm. Chow's done amazing in Hollywood because... He is an actor. It's not so much that he is a an action star, mm -hmm. but he is an actor. Yeah. And I think that's why he has come to making that work for him more so. Whereas the likes of Jackie um, and even Donnie, like Donnie's doing very, very well in his action career, but he only sort of flits back and forth from Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. He seems to kind of like flip-flop yeah between more, the two sticks around more so in hong kong but will go out to, to hollywood for the oddly one so yeah. he's in control let's say of that it's not a case of i think jackie's hollywood movies are a paycheck yeah and then when he comes back to china he makes what he wants mm -hmm. i feel that that's that's kind of where it's went i, I do you know i think it would be interesting to take a, a deeper look at the last 20 years of jackie's career yeah from his big break in Hollywood mm -hmm. to see where that's went, to see what has come out of that. Yeah. And how different his movies have become. Oh, yeah. With those influences, you know, like this is something he's wanted from the 70s, from the from the start of his career. He's always wanted to be in Hollywood. Yeah. Did it really? Was it the best move for him? No. You I mean, know. he made it work for him. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. But look 100%. at her. I mean, I just always love her performances. Yeah, she's just such a wonderful actor. Yeah, and her whole attitude, you know, from being that kind of more jovial, sort mm. of like sidekick to Jason. Now we're seeing a real sort of serious part. Yeah, he has a real intensity in her. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and that's just great. I'm thinking about this. The the big. Revenge finale showdown here is so exciting. Cannot wait. Oh fuck! <laughs> Love even look how that glass broke. Isn't it gorgeous looking? Like every little it's detail. Just... Look at how the the light from the um. It gives the it that kind of yeah, like, like rainbow, rainbow flicker. Yeah. yeah. I love this restoration. I think it's... it really is stunning. For one of their sort of earlier releases as well. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, look at it. Just <laughs> look at the how, like, how well lit that is, I you know. see? Her face is amazing looking. This is a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful shot. Isn't it? But such a change in tone. Yes, massive change in mm. tone from, or from earlier in the film. Yeah. But I find that with a lot of these films anyway, the, the tone always does kind oh, of change absolutely. towards the end. And anyway. there's not many Westerners appreciate that, you know? Mm. Like, I find a lot of them would, oh, this film doesn't know what it wants to be. You know, mm. I'm like, no, this is why I love uh, Hong well, Kong cinema, because do, it is so many things. Does life know what it wants to be? Right. So this is my point. 
There's there's no straightforward. We have no linear. There's no str- no, no exactly. It's not a straightforward path. This th- these kind of things work, and I feel a lot of Hong Kong movies that that introduce different types of genres throughout mm-hmm. them. For me, it's an exciting ride. Yeah. For other it's, people, it's confusing. They did try it <laughs> in the West, actually, with, with a horror film. I don't know whether you've ever seen it, The Majorettes. Nope. So it starts off as, like, a slasher film. Mm-hmm. And so this killer is going after part of the majorettes, you know, these, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. cheerleaders or whatever they are. Yeah. And I don't know what a majorette is. I know it's an American something. <laughs> they're not cheerleaders, but they're, like, marching band. I don't know. Yeah. And then the last <laughs> half of the film, the majorettes get guns and go to the caravan site they're at and just blow the shit out of everything. Well. Um, and I may say, I was like, I mean, what? I, what? I wanted a slasher film, but I've got... A slasher be, and an action movie. I would be up for watching that. Yeah, it's a really great, great movie. Very good. That's so sharp. So it's like, you know, you know, when people are like, oh, it's like a slasher one minute and mm. then it's an action the next minute. The the thing is, life doesn't always take a very linear approach. No, I think we, as I think with Westerners and being influenced by Western culture, we have to have a beginning, and the, middle, and the end. Typical ABC yes. formula, yes. Which that, I don't which even. Don't I, need. Don't, I don't use it in no. my films. No. So here we have the Westerners coming in. You've got and this this girl I can't remember her name. She was in Iron Monkey though, uh, the female villain of Iron Monkey. And she oh, was actually that is phenomenal job. Yes, the guy on the left in the black coat mm-hmm. is Mark Kane. Um, he's been in quite a number of Hong Kong movies around this period and then you have Bruce Fontaine who was the other Westerner that came in uh, he, he's in I mean a ton of Godfrey Ho stuff He's mm. in, he, he was in the first Angel Terminators movie that we watched also um, always the kind of a, a wonderful martial artist but always like the go to bad guy um, he also was the teacher for do you remember the movie we had at the festival, the Japanese superhero oh, one? Oh, yes. Uh, I totally forget the name now. Oh, I do remember that. But yes, the guy, it's... Bueno, the director of that, was a student of Bruce Fontaine's. Right, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but it's always a joy to see Bruce and see him in action. This is Sophia Crawford. Uh, she is phenomenal. Uh, she is British. And I do believe was... A, as as the story goes, working in a chip shop before she decided she was going to go out to Hong Kong. Okay, come. so here's the thing about Sophia Crawford. Mm-hmm. She doubled Sarah Michelle Gellar yes. on Buffy the Vampire that's, Side. That's right, yeah. Um, she was one of, yeah, one um, of Sarah's. Yeah, they had yeah, a couple, yeah, yeah. but Sophia did the majority of that's the right. stunt work I for, do remember for Buffy. back in the day in Impact Movie Magazine seeing mm-hmm. photos of her and Sarah together. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's correct. So. Well, there you go. It's, it's lovely to actually see Sophia as herself as and not herself. as a stunt double, but. Well, I've loads of great movies with her. her It'd be wonderful bigger, actually to watch her actually roles. in bigger roles yeah, because yeah, yeah. I know her as a stunt double, but I did know that she did a lot of film, you know, work yeah. as well where she acted. Um, well, she was so. amazing uh, in Hong Kong movies. Mm-hmm. Really. Um, I'm kind of like I suppose a British Cynthia Rothrock to some mm. degree, uh, maybe not so much in the traditional form of martial arts, but yeah. in terms of being an on-screen fighter, uh, a stunt woman, and being an action star, mm-hmm. she was phenomenal. Yeah, she really was. Oh, this is going to be so much. And fun. it certainly, it certainly worked. I mean, it's a very clever. Obviously, Sophia was a slightly older than Sarah would have been mm. because she's playing a sixteen-year-old high school right. girl, whereas Sophia yeah, would have yeah. been in her thirties at that stage. So, you know, bit of an age difference. But however, I kind of like that they recognise that it works for that kind of film because obviously the that show is inspired by martial artistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. The, the Slayer has to be Very able much. to move and to kick and we see all that. Yeah. And that's what I love. That's I see the similarities between that show and these films because yes. of the, the... Again, the Hong Kong influence. Yes. The, yeah, and it's because there. they've used... People like Sophia mm-hmm. to come in and do the stunt work yeah. for it, you know, and uh, well, listen, it's, I, it's really lovely to actually yeah, see her. In it's a, a good film. connection there. Yeah. So this is Bruce, as I say, mm-hmm. and then Mark on the on the right, Markine, and then Sophia. Yeah. She looks, fast, she looks she? amazing. That's the thing. Again, someone I feel just didn't get. She's done quite a few, but just didn't get enough. Yeah. Uh, and I think she kind of. It's wonderful to, to see her young like this. Actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. I think she went then, took what she learned in Hong Kong for sure, mm-hmm. and then went to Hollywood with that. 
<laughs> and should get much more credit for the work that she put into her stunts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On other, totally. On other shows. I will certainly um, pull out a, a movie that she's more prominent in. Yeah, for, please for do. That watch, would be wonderful. Just so you can, you can really sort of see what she puts together on it, you know? Nice. Oh my God, that was like she wasn't, there wasn't any of her left there. <laughs> Nice, come on, man. Yeah, that's what I we want to see. I wish I could pull her name out of my head here because she's phenomenal as a martial oh, artist, isn't she? That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I loved her in Iron Monkey. The fluidity is stunning. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Again, you're not faking this. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. It's all practical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is such an appeal. Obviously, that's not oh, practical. Oh, that was a waste. It's a lot of squibs, but. That was a waste of Bruce. Oh, well, you know. He's a phenomenal martial artist, so to see him do something would have been great. Mm hmm. Um, but still. <laughs> no. Have we definitely watched this, George? Oh, yes, because we I definitely don't have. don't recall it. You were probably on your phone. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is an explosive ending. This is And an HD looks even more incredible. Oh, like, really. Look at the Yeah! That was a nice wee throwback to Iron Angels 2. Do you remember it's in the jungle? I do, yes. One of, <gasps> one of my favourites. One of my favourite moments. Absolutely. Those, they what the fuck is she firing out of her gun that's I blowing know, shit right? up like that? <laughs> do you not know that Hong Kong guns just generally just, blow people up and blow I, shit I up? didn't know that. There we go. <laughs> I'm so glad that this is a Northern thing. Ireland ever got those no, in the 80s. Should, should, <laughs> I know. Oh, jeez Louise. This is fantastic, great... fantastic, fantastic. Boom. Nice. And again, what you have here is a dancer against a martial artist. Yeah. But yet but Moon that's the, makes the it fluid... look like she knows. But exactly. that's the thing, that's the fluidity of it. You know, it's beautifully choreographed. Yep. It's all kind of to perfection, but it's got to be quick and it's got to be fast. Yep. So you have to have that ability to be able to move oh, 100%. like this to make it look authentic. Oh, nice. And I love it. Nice. Oh. Don't blinders. I was going to say, what, what a shitty move that oh, was. No. That's kind of what I would probably do, to be fair. Like, throw dirt in someone's eyes. Whoa! Ooh. Nice! Oh, here oh we go. she's back. Lovely. Nice, yeah. Nice. I think uh, they've maybe starred together in a couple of movies. I'm not right. sure of it. Uh, Mission of Justice was like a, a kind of a Thai jungle type action movie yeah, okay. quite hard to find okay uh, I, I must try and get my hands on it but I'm really hoping Sybil we... knows how to uh, handle that gun though doesn't she oh she loves it <laughs> I, do you know what I, I'm actually loving here about this mm -hmm. seeing the movement that I've seen for so many years rewatching a TV show that I love yeah. and actually seeing the person behind it who's actually doing it yeah because it's so interesting. Yeah. I was watching it there because now that you've said it's her, I'm actually watching the movement. Yeah. And I can actually see Sarah. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, but the character of Buffy in that. Yes. And it's fantastic. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. well, what it's a like, wonderful it's, little... It's like when I, when you and Bio or say Jackie Chan, for example, puts on a balaclava to become a gunman in the background or mm -hmm. stunt double someone. I know it's them from those particular movements. Yes. They have a, a kind of oh. a physical way they do certain things mm -hmm. and that's that i love noticing that and what a what a um a set they have yeah, here yeah. this is a phenomenal this is space massive yeah she's really getting to do quite a bit here i'm, I'm surprised i thought <laughs> when she got shot that was her, that was sophia gone no nope. now she got but a good dig with that speed she did that's oh well that's all right for the <laughs> please tell me they're gonna blow this boat up there's a chance oh fuck since I can't remember. I mean, it's... <laughs> no, yeah. This is the boat where... I'll not forget it now, I can tell you that. No. I will not forget it. Definitely not. And we will go back and watch part one in its HD. Yes. I think that great. would only be fair because yeah. it would blow you away. Nice! Again. But this is the boat where they killed her uncle. Yeah. Lily. Yeah. And hung all the friends yes, from. Yeah. And again, he's not... He's just an actor who is obviously very good at movement. Yeah. But we have to expect this from a lot of these action stars and action mm -hmm. actors. <gasps> Ooh. Nice. It's bloody. I love the ferocity in her face. Yeah. See when see when Midley takes shit serious. Oh, absolutely. There is such a 
focus in yeah. her eyes. Yep. It's wonderful. She's an amazing actress. She is. She's fantastic. And that's what hurts me that she was taken away. <laughs> taken away from the scene far too quickly. Not that she's dead. Yes. No, but no, you no. know what I mean? Like she just... You're really going to arrest her? Yeah. Bitch. Bitch. But she was just... That, her film career kind of went. Do you know there was such a weird moment... Oh, and she's, she's kinda, going yeah, in now where she's, Yukari's come out. Yeah, yeah. Well, how brutal it was. Oh no, she's coming out. Oh, this she's is, coming this out? This is time later. This is oh, time. sorry, I thought that she's going in. I thought that was quite a nice juxtaposition that mm. they were doing there. But Now ah, she's, there we go. There she is, our girl. Now Looking much ready. better. Doesn't she? Yes. I'll have to ask that that for her hair. Massive. It's disgusting. It's like coal. It, it's like it's polished her, it's, coal. It's horrendous. I don't like it. <laughs> but I, I prefer her in her... In but her... I never noticed it in no. the, uh, on the DVD. No, 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 no. I'm not oh, coat that Moonlight is wearing. I want it. Yeah. FYI. <laughs> I can see you wearing that. If, yeah, if Mike later can find out if that <laughs> kind of thing still exists in Hong Kong, I might yeah. get one. Yeah. Loved it. Very good. Spectrum, what a phenomenal... Restoration, Restoration of Angel Terminator 2. Superb. Absolutely. Look at Sybil's face. I can't go. <laughs> That's a brilliant. It's like, eh! <laughs> um, you and Mo. You yes, and Bo. I thought I saw. I, maybe I said you and Mo. You and Bo. I think you said you and Mo, Mo. and then you said you and Bo yes. in there, but I didn't want to kind of jump in. Ah, that starring. <laughs> yes, the there we go. Normally. Da, da, da. There's quite a few there. Um, well, we didn't miss too many. Let's be honest. Sophia and Crawford. She's got quite a quite a yeah. good um, building, actually, though, mm -hmm. considering. But yeah, I have to say, I'm pleasantly and wonderfully surprised by good. that. I thought it was quite a wonderful. I thought it was a beautiful restoration. It was it really stunning. Did. And it's Absolutely certainly, stunning. I have to say, probably it could have just been the quality of the the previous one that i just didn't remember it but i, I think will that, never that, forget i this. think that they, that may be the problem that the dvd was so bad mm -hmm. and we had done part one and we just wanted to kind of like give you a heads up on what part two was mm -hmm. going to be because we were about to do that maybe the, the next time yeah and we just didn't maybe a bullet syndrome came about then mm. <laughs> i think that was the time maybe that we started to delve into the world of yeah, capri and i started absolutely. to become painfully ill <laughs> Could anyway have been to do with my dad as well actually <laughs> well that's pretty yeah. true but thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far congratulations uh we or will be back <laughs> or we're not no apparently not oh right who said that gang signs oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yes anyway thanks for watching we will see you next time here on invincible asia peace out toodaloo, <laughs> toodaloo. <laughs>